Hi, today I will talk you through how to select appropriate ball transfer units for your application. When identifying a suitable ball units, you should have in mind two key criteria. The first one is load capacity and the second one is fixing method and or shape of the ball unit. I will also talk about spacing and number of ball units that you should have in your ball table and ball transfer units materials. To determine the required load capacity, you must know the maximum weight of the article which will be conveyed on the ball units. The weight of the article should be divided by 3. The result is the maximum load any single ball unit will bear. On any accurately leveled or flexible surface, a number greater than 3 may be used. For example, if we have a weight of 300 kilos and we divide this by 3, the result is 100 kilos, which is the minimum value of dynamic load capacity any single ball unit should have. If you look at the always catalog, you will see that in the column on the right there are values of maximum dynamic loading per each unit based on the type, size and material option. This value should be higher than the one that you have calculated. In our example we have calculated that the load capacity should be at least 100 kilos. If we take standard euro units, we will see that the appropriate units are the one with ball size 22 or bigger, which have a maximum load capacity of 160 kilos. If you would like to order a free printed version of this always catalog, just simply click on the link below this video. Please note that the maximum load capacity is valid for load up orientation. For load down or other orientations, the load capacity may be reduced. All transfer units are available in a variety of designs and fixing methods. The most popular ones are the standard ball units for drop-in fixing. In this case, you just simply place a unit into a hole. For additional securing, you can use fixing clips, which can be supplied separately, or you can choose units with built-in clips. The second option are the flange fixing units, which have holes in the flange through which they can be screwed to the surface. A similar fixing is also possible with high profile base fixing units. There are also designs with thread, spring for shock loads, miniature types, glass handling units and few other special designs. Now that you have determined the required load capacity and shape of the ball units, it is time to calculate how many units you need for your ball table. First, you need to know the pitch between ball units. The pitch is calculated by dividing the narrowest dimension of conveyor article by 3.5. For example, if the narrowest dimension of conveyor article is 350 mm, and you divide this by 3.5, the result is 100 mm, which is the maximum pitch between ball centers. This ensures that three ball units are always beneath the narrowest dimension of the load at any one time. A number of pitches, square, diamond and elongated, can be used subject to the footprint of the article to be moved. Now that you know the pitch between ball units, it is time to calculate the number of units you need based on the size of your ball table. Here is the example. After you do this, the only thing left is to select the material of ball units. Ball transfer units are available in a variety of materials depending upon the application and or environment. For general use, you should use standard type 13 units with carbon steel balls and zinc plated housing. If delicate materials are to be maneuvered, then a nylon type 14 or phenolic load ball should be considered. In this case, the load capacity of a unit is much lower compared to the standard type 13. For harsh environments, you can use partial or full stainless steel units type 15 and 16. This is it for now. I hope you found this video useful. 
If so, please share it with your friends. I would also appreciate your likes and comments on Facebook and Google. And also, don't forget, if you would like to get a free printed version of the Always catalog, just simply click on the link below this video. Of course, if you have any additional questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.